強引厳禁Yo, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. My name is Xnal, and we got a Chongyun build for you guys. So the Blizzard Strayer set has come out. Today, this build incorporates those new cryo artifacts. As you guys know, most of my videos, I try to make it as relatable to free-to-play players as much as possible, and this is no different. This build is very possible for free-to-play players. So let's get right into it. I want to give a shout out to one of our supporters, Zedikus. This is his account, and this is his Chongyun build. So he's got 2k attack and a crit rate of 50%, 110% crit damage. The artifact sets is a 2-piece Noblesse Oblige and 2-piece Blizzard Strayer. Blizzard Strayer cryo damage bonus because most of damage coming from Chongyun is cryo. And we're going for the elemental burst damage bonus from the Noblesse Oblige because Chongyun has one of those uh, low cooldown, low energy requirement elemental bursts. The 12 second cooldown and 40 energy cost. The weapon that we have on him is the Prototype Archaic, which is before with the Prototype Aminus, and this is craftable, so very free-to-play friendly. This dude has a rank 4, I wish I could get as many Claymore Prototypes as this guy. And of course the main stats on the artifacts I did not forget this time. Flower of course is gonna be flat HP, we do have some crit damage, crit rate, and energy recharge on here. Feather is flat attack with a little bit of crit damage. And here we have an attack percent timepiece. Again, you want to look for those crit damage and crit rate substats on your artifacts. For the goblet, it is definitely going to be a cryo damage bonus. And then for the headgear, it is a crit rate headgear. Constellations. Now he does have C4 Chongyun. And I still believe that free to play players can get C6 of any 4 star character. As long as they know how to save their primo gems and have the patience to wait for the rate up banner of their favorite 4 star character. So C4 is not a long shot. C1 gives his fourth normal attack some additional ranged cryo damage which pierces through enemies. C2 reduces the cooldown of any elemental skill or any elemental burst cast within its AoE. C3 just increases the level of his burst by 3. And C4 can potentially give Chongyun 1 energy every 2 seconds. His Chongyun is level 80 and he has the max talent level 4, level 80, level 8, level 8 and level 8 plus 3 from the constellation. So now let's show off his damage in action in floor 11 of Abyss and then later on we will also showcase his potential to burst down the Regis Vine with the help of a Veridescent Set debuff and a Bennett attack buff plus foods and potions. <laughs> わが目を切った。おとなしく捕まれ。救急に寄り釣るよ。よう待て。立ち去れ。さあ。全力攻撃だ。次を入れよ。剣人全票、攻撃厳禁。さあ。さあ。さあ。救急に寄り釣るよ。おとなしく捕まれ。いや。はっと。え。みんながそばにいてくれ。剣人全票。And there you have it, that is the Chongyun build using the Blizzard Strayer 2-piece and a 2-piece Noblesse Oblige. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more builds or you want to discuss with other players, join our Discord. We got 4,000 members, lots of helpful and active people in there. We also go live on fb.gg slash xnallgaming every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Do drop by and have a good time. Now, if you want to support the content that we do on this page, there is an option for you to become a supporter. Link in the description. And I'll see you around.